guys? I'm Karen. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to my video. So, as you can see, I'm wearing OCPs. The Air Force is currently transitioning from their ABUs into OCPs, and because I'm deploying, I was issued some, which is yay me! <laughs> but um, I wanted to show you guys like the OCPs, some of the differences between the ABUs and the OCPs, maybe something you're looking forward to because you'll be soon getting some OCPs. <laughs> Since I'm showing you guys the OCPs, I decided to kind of show you guys some of the other Air Force uniforms, like the blues, PT uniform, and the ABUs. And then we'll talk about the OCPs a little bit, guys. Kind of like what I like about it, what I don't like maybe, some of the differences between the ABUs and the OCPs. So before we get into all that though, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, guys. Subscribe if you already aren't, and let's get to it. So that was a very quick view of the other Air Force uniforms. Let's get to my likes and dislikes and comparing the OCBs and ABUs. So let's talk about the tops first. Um, the OCPs have a zipper and Velcro kind of closing while the, oh, the ABUs have button down and personally it's a lot faster to zipper it up and velcro it down than button all the buttons down so that was like a feature I really liked another one about the top is everything is velcro so your name tape the US Air Force tape your rank and then not only that but you also have like your unit patch and your flag I think it adds a little more character so that's awesome and with the name tapes though, with it being Velcro, compared to the ABUs, you don't need to keep sewing it on, which costs money. It says you have to sew it on, you'd have to buy the rank every time you change ranks. You have to pay for it to get switched out. And that's just a little extra more rather than buying the Velcro ranks for OCPs where you can just take it off and stick the other one on yourself. So, super convenient and for you know, whenever you get married and you have to change your name, all you need to buy are the name tapes. You don't have to buy to sew it back on. So that is super convenient and I really love that feature. And then with the pockets, so both of them have four pockets on the tops, but the ABUs is just four button down pockets. Well, you're not even supposed to use it. Um, I'm not sure what the regulations are for the OCP pockets, but the OCP pockets are much more convenient personally for me. It, you have two zipper pockets where your patches are and then you also have two velcro pockets on your chest and I, I don't know I personally really like that and rather than the four pa four pockets right in the front on the ABUs so that's about it for the tops so for the bottoms first thing I want to talk about just a little thing so the belt for the ABU doesn't have velcro but for some reason the one with the OCP has velcro on it and personally, I actually like it. I don't know why. It's just like a nice little touch for me. I'm like, oh, it's convenient. <laughs> the OCP bottoms though, I've noticed, fits a lot better than the ABU ones. These two uniforms are untouched. If you can see, like my ABUs, they have like room and I don't, I feel like they don't form to my shape very well. But the a OCPs, I feel like it shows my shape a lot better, so. I personally like that. I mean, I like clothes that fit well, so I really like the OCP pants. So the pants, they both have eight pockets, but OCP pockets are bigger. So like the cargo pockets, they're bigger by like 
a good amount and they're super roomy I like them um, the only thing is though they don't have pen holders at the bottom ABUs have pen holders on the bottom and that's like super convenient you can just it was like more space to carry pens and that's where I usually would keep my pens that was a nice feature that the OCPs don't have that's like one of the that might be like the only thing I don't like about the OCPs to be honest and then another thing though so the ABU bottoms you need blousing straps and that can be painful sometimes or um, you would just tuck it in but I don't like tucking in my ABUs only because it's like kind of inconvenient but with the OCPs they have like these they have like blousing straps in them a little bit so you can just pull on them tighten the bottom and it makes it easier to tuck it in your boot you don't need blousing straps at all so that is super nice love that and then you have the boots so the boots are different colors um really like the ocp boots just like the look of it the feel of it is pretty much the same as the bmt boots um yeah but one of the things guys that i didn't show you about the um about the differences is the hat so i didn't take a video or i didn't film anything about the hats they're just hats right they're pretty much the same thing yada 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 abu ocp as you can see but two things about the OCPs that this plain old hat doesn't have. Ha! Sorry, views. Um, first of all, they have your name in the back. But I think it's super convenient because if you're like behind someone and you don't want to be like wrong with who they are, uh, hello, their name is right there. Awesome. <laughs> and also, they have like this little pocket in their hat. I asked one of my supervisors what it's for because he's had OCPs and he's been like, deployed with them like how many times. I asked him like, what do you even keep in here? <laughs> and he says that um, people would put pictures or sometimes even snacks. I personally probably wouldn't even put snacks on top of my head, but he said people have done that like crackers or something or like some MRE snacks. He'll just like hide it on the in the pocket here. But pictures and letters are common things to put in here so i think that's going to be super useful for me um when i get deployed so that'll be a nice <laughs> but also if you haven't noticed um the santees are also different ocp ones are like a darker green looking thing and the abu ones are like a lighter sand color that's pretty much what i like what i don't like about the ocps um and just compare it to abus so final thoughts though i personally really like the ocps or i can't wait to get it altered and like fitted for myself um but yeah <laughs> so hope you guys enjoyed the video though let me know what your thoughts are on the ocps what you guys like better abus ocps let me know down below guys let me know if you have some for yourself yet let me know if you guys have any questions down below um curious about anything and ooh, <laughs> and for you guys who um, might be interested in my life outside of the Air Force, I actually have my powerlifting meet this Saturday. So I'm planning to post this Friday, so it'll be tomorrow if you're watching this today when I post it. But if you watch this after um, Saturday, um, the 15th December, then my vlog might be out for my powerlifting meet guys but i'm so excited for that so if you're interested then stay tuned for that and yeah okay that's it <laughs> i appreciate you guys for watching this thank you so much for dealing with all of this <laughs> but yeah love you guys appreciate you guys stay tuned for all the upcoming videos subscribe if you aren't like the video guys and peace